All right, the Rick Mountain Morning Show. Hey, the time right now is 12 minutes, 12 minutes after the hour, y'all. Uh, real quick, are you are y'all ready for Thanksgiving? Uh, you know, black people, we start cutting up onions and bell peppers real early. That holy trinity, cutting up that celery, bell pepper, and onions just to start this week. Or whatever, just where you want to have to do it. I know y'all getting y'all dressed and ready. Uh, uh, Brad, uh, Maria, Gary, uh, Rock T, special case. Anybody started any type of Thanksgiving preparation? Uh, I cut, uh, uh, and I'll tell you what I'm doing different this year. Yeah, my wife has started cutting up some stuff I noticed it in the refrigerator. Yeah. Well, uh, the Holy Trinity? Yeah, she started cutting up some bell peppers and onions and all that kind of stuff. And celery? Yeah, all that. Yeah. Gary? My mama started mustard greens, washing her mustard greens, but then she didn't realize. I'm like, Mama, we got two more weeks, and you already doing mustard greens? Okay, you cook them and freeze them. Yeah, well, they can but, be flavorful. What kind of meat she using? Um, I think she used to use those turkey, not turkey necks, those the ham thing, ham hocks. Ham hocks. Yeah, but I She's don't like She's still cooking with ham hocks. I want to ask her if she, if she still cooking the mustard greens the same, because my friends cook their mustard greens with olive oil, and I, I'd rather that than the way my mama was cooking it. I'm like, oh. Kind of a little yeah. strong. I, I mean, and, and anybody else got started? Uh, we're working on the menu for the chef. We'll have like 30 people. Mm. So 30 okay. people, two two big tables, just decorations and all that stuff. So we're definitely so, working on that. So are you renting extra tables? Because I do yes. rent like two yes. extra tables. So, yes. Brett, you know you can get a food warmer to go in your garage. Like if you're having a big Thanksgiving, yeah. you could rent food warmer to go in the garage and go ahead and cook, and then when you run out of food, you just go and pull another pan of food. That's like do, if you're doing it, if you'd like to go to for Thanksgiving for the family. Yeah, do you do the chafing? Is that what they call the chafing table? Chafing. Yeah, the dishes the, that, that yeah. keep the stuff. Okay, yeah. So let me tell you what I did uh, yesterday. I went to Home Goods. Instead of doing the buffet style like I usually do, mm-hmm. what I want to do, because I noticed last year, because I, I watch everything. I watch every single little detail. By the time the first person makes, their plate and sit down and start eating. By the time the first person get through eating, the last person is making their plate. And mm-hmm. it's just so off balance with a line and one buffet style and, and, and you got to wait for everybody. So what I'm doing is I bought a, I went to Home Goods and bought a whole bunch of little uh, porcelain dishes and I'm just going to sit dishes on all the tables. Then I bought this little dolly thing where it spins around. Mm. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You can put all of the dishes on the little thing. And, like, if you want the macaroni and cheese on the other side, you can kind of slowly spin the thing, and the whole thing comes around. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's, oh, yeah. 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 Not yeah. Everybody don't have to wait. Everybody don't have to. Yeah. Exactly. Everybody don't, don't have to wait. Yeah. So so then we got it set up where if, if you run out of macaroni and cheese, you can just go and pull another one from the food woman and just place it on the table. And uh, stuff, stuff like that. Just, just trying different stuff, just to try to make it run a little bit smoother. Because you kind of want everybody to sit down at the same time. But we want to say to everybody all over America, not won't nobody on this morning show say it because they got family members like this. I didn't want to say. I'm reading this off of Facebook, and uh, nobody wants to say it, and ain't nobody talking about it. But if you have missing front teeth, do not talk over nobody's food this year. <laughs> yeah, because it's a shootout. <laughs> Please. <laughs> If there's any, nobody on this morning show wanted to say it because everybody got family members that got missing front teeth. And nobody on this show wanted, we talked about it privately, but they, but but nobody said they wanted to say it, so I'm going to say it. So y'all want to attack somebody, attack me. If you got missing front teeth, don't talk during Thanksgiving. Please, just eat your food and be quiet and chew with your mouth closed. And when you bite, cut your stuff up and just... Put it on the fork. Don't bite on yeah. turkey leg. Yeah. With Mr. T. Slide it to the back of the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fired out Bring like the a case for boy. your dentures. That food be flying out their mouth, don't it? <laughs> when they be trying to talk with food. <laughs> Sitting up there talking to you with some dressing coming at you full speed. Ooh. Like you like you returning the kickoff. Like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, I got your wake up calls. Y'all get at me. 8669 Ricky. 8669 R I C K E Y. Ricky Smiley Morning Show.